everybody, Charles Calhoun, AKA the Shade Tree Pro. You know, um, I, I, I'm still getting the slack, you know, when I talk about my top down philosophy and, you know, and it's, you know, still, I mean, I, I still try to make it simple. If it goes up in the air, it comes back down. I mean, it's, it's, it's not that difficult really to understand if you understand the body. Like I said, I talked about the shoulder girdle how it's only connected to the collarbone. That's where your arms are. When you lift your arms up in the air, it elevates. And if it elevates, then it's got to come back down. I mean, I don't do all this to make it come down, or do I come up to make it come down? You know, in a sense, what happens, it comes down. You know, and it's, it's, it's just not that difficult. You know, once you understand it and see it. See, I've been working on it, just putting my own swing together. You know, and you know, how do you test it to see if I'm just saying something? I mean, my boy Joy Steels, you know, he just played in an APG, um, uh, APGA tour event and he shot 71 66. But what was unique about the 66 was we uh, messaged that night before the next, before the next uh, day, the second day, excuse me, and I told him, I said, look, man. You got to stop swinging a golf club and hoping the ball goes where you want it to go. You got to start swinging a golf club in a manner to tell it where to go. Just like you out there. If you want that, you, you know, yeah, you got your swing. And a lot of reasons that a lot of you can't take your swing to the golf course. One, you're taking a feel in a sense instead of making a move. And you don't really have your routine down in the sense that makes your game travel, you know, because the routine you can perfect. But a lot of it is, is because people tell you, don't guide the ball, don't steer the ball. Yes, we call that control. That's the real word, word of it. So I'm not just getting up here swinging. I'm actually looking at a defined target, making a move and hitting it to that target. And I'm making sure, because back in my day, or my biggest problem used to be a hook. I couldn't stand me, I would pull the ball. And I didn't like pulling it, so I learned how with my dead finger grip, I learned how to hold on to it in a manner that I can roll the shaft and all that I need to to keep that face open. And all I do is just hit it straight. So there is gonna be a manner in your golf swing to where you're gonna have to control that club face. You know, I don't, I'm not wanna just, you know, I guess I used to think that way, but I don't anymore. I'm not wanna just let the club face go through. No, you tell, this is like a hard headed child. You got to tell it what to do. And if you don't tell it what to do, it's going to do what it wants to do. And a lot of times it's not good. So, you know, get control of your swing. And as I said, I got, it, it, people, I got, it, it's top down, you know, and, and, and there's too many people that's trying to debate with me and argue with me, which I don't understand why. I mean, if I'm teaching my people uh, top down philosophy, why are people trying to argue with me to tell me that it's not, you know? I, it, it makes no sense to me. And then 99% of the time, I'm giving them the reasons to explain it to me. And let me, out, let me give you all something else so you understand. One of the biggest reasons for my top-down philosophy has nothing to do with the muscles because muscles push and pull. I already know that. They're always going to be pushing and pulling in some little small fashion. Some of the muscles you, you can't even define. But the skeleton, the framework, if I lift this arm up, then the joints are going to come up. They're going to they're going to pull apart. That's just like a, a accordion. It pulls apart, and then all of a sudden, if I put pressure on it, guess what? They're going to those joints are going to come back down and compress towards one another. That's the top down. Now that's not saying that the body's not holding you. I mean, there are some things that I I talk about that goes on with it, but. The joints, in essence, if they if you pull the joints apart, they're gonna come back together. If you if that, I mean that's just common sense. So that's my science. My science is common sense. And then most importantly is this. A well struck golf ball. This is Charles Calhoun, aka the Shade Tree Pro. Get with that top down, cause it's catching on and always good golfing.